Getting ready to redo the fireplace. What are you doing? I can't think. Trying to get the new spray painter to work. It's like a, a home right finish max super paint sprayer. Cool, bro. Okay. So we also, Zach also took the trim off from the very top part, which I think I have a picture. Before, but you can kind of see the uh, the outline there from the side piece. But yeah, it made this fireplace feel bigger and the room feel bigger. It's kind of crazy and it makes me excited to get all the trim off the walls. Yeah. Do you feel powerful? Oh gosh, did you just get me? Yeah. I was like. I not to breathe, so I was like, <laughs> I'm supposed to have a mask on. Should I tell people that? You're supposed to have a mask on. <laughs> I'm sick of wearing masks. I'm working on spray painting them because they were brown and I wanted them black. Well, they were like a... But I thought it was going to look okay and then I was like, wait a second, that's black. That's not going to look right. Well, now so that's that the one, I, one you painted. Yeah, this is the one I painted. Where's this the other one? one? I didn't paint yet. The part that's covered with tape is gold. A really pretty gold. So they came in kind of brown and our fireplace insert is black now. And so I figured I'd paint them black. So black and gold will be really pretty. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's, I like this. I just didn't think it matched. Mm -hmm. so. Anyway, so she's been painting all this and spray painted, that's what she was talking about. But because of the mantle that was here before, it was hung on these two by fours that were already inserted into the fireplace as it was built. So the solution is to paint it white and then use these little bracket things and put it on, paint it white as well, right? This wood part is going to be white? No. No? no it's going to stay like the raw I'm wood? I'm going to stain it the same color as the mantle. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. But that will go there. I'm going to try to caulk that as much as I can. Anyway, so that's our kind of makeshift solution. So it can't be a floating mantle, unfortunately. And we're making our own mantle out of some just, what was this at Lowe's? It's just like project wood. It's like Super sanded. cheap. How much was this board? I want to say like all the wood total was like 35. Okay. Yeah. It's pretty cheap. So basically I've already made the cuts, but. Wait, you already cut that? That's amazing. You oh, that thanks. Really I'm, I'm, I've got... We don't have a, cert or a table saw, so yeah, it's really hard so to... So I had to use our just hand saw on my uh, saw horses out there and cut it. Yeah. Those cuts have already been made. Um, it was super easy. I mean, the best way to make those straight cuts are with a miter, miter saw. And... <laughs> pretty dope. You're just really proud of that new miter saw. I really am. <laughs> Look at how it slides. So now we're going to attempt to put it, sorry, I have hat hair. I haven't, I always have hat hair now though. How do you feel about that? She loves my hair right now. So you love well my together. shirt right now. <laughs> yeah, that's a the running joke. She always I'm has that shirt on. I'm literally always in this shirt. It should basically shorts. be my like uniform. And it's just comfortable. I'm always tired of doing my hair, so I put hats on. And anyway, this has nothing to do with the project. So now we're going to have to Brad nail these pieces together.
butt literally right in the camera. Wait, you're... Oh my gosh. What? <gasps> Is it recording? Oh my gosh, that's disgusting. Stop I know you were now. recording. That's <laughs> disgusting. My, I need your help. That's a terrible angle. Are you kidding me right now? I cannot believe you did not see that there. I didn't. The big screen with the record button. Literally had to avoid that to squat Please. <laughs> Please don't use any of that footage. Don't even look at that footage. Please don't look at that footage. What are you doing? I'm trying to get this straight. ourselves a pretty good looking mantle. Look at that. Hollow on the inside. Looks like one solid piece from the outside. And there you have it, a mantle. Let's see how this baby will look on the, on the fireplace here. Here is the finished product of the lights. I'm so glad I sprayed them. I so wish this was a floating mantle. Me too. It'll sit on there, something like that. That looks so good. I like that a lot. Oh gosh, it's so washed out with that bright light. It looks so good. Well, you know, it's pretty good at building things. That looks a little dinky. That was my fear, is that this would look dinky. We'll see though, at the end. We'll see, it's hard to tell from there. So how do we get this sucker up? <clears throat> looks pretty good. Yeah, I really don't think I would have to do a ton of... It almost looks like it was it built in on purpose. There, I know. What do you want to say? Hey, are you stuck on the chair? Did you climb up there and now you're stuck? Mommy told you not to? <laughs> what is that face? <laughs> I told you not to climb up there and you did. So now you're stuck. You are crazy. Oh, that's a nice smile. I like that smile. <laughs> Alright, Ezra. Are you a big boy? Are you a big boy? You're so handsome. You're so handsome. That's you. Climber lately. Oh. Play jumps. That's my jumps. My jumps. No, you share the jumps. <laughs> she, buddy. What are you doing? Hi. You playing? Dude. Constant entertainment. Well, new sconces are in. Go close. I don't, I can still try to figure out like how to decorate it with the sconces because if it were just a normal mantle, what I have up there would work. But because of the sconces, I don't know if I need, I don't know if I need to do, like I've seen on Pinterest just like where people will just do like one simple mirror mm -hmm. and a couple candles or something, something. You got a nice little outlet there where you could do like little a nice LED little like lights or something. <laughs> what? 
What? I mean like this. Like no. you got this little what is this? We're you, not gonna, no. you just got this. That. Something like that. That uh, could like That's maybe for Christmas. Just like listen, go listen, along listen, there listen. along along the directions. Listen. That's a Christmas thing. No. So you can still do it. No. But how is that not a Christmas thing it if it's a, there, it but it's not a, when it's right here? It is a little bit of a Christmas thing, okay? Or like fall cozy, but like I don't really want that up there right now. Okay. Well, it's just an idea. I'm just trying to help. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing what just a little bit of paint can do. Whoa. No, Lizzo. Where did the other one go? Oh. Yeah. Uh oh. On the vacuum. Playing with cords again. He's like, uh -oh. look at me, I'm not doing anything. Oh my god. Uh oh, oh, oh. Ezra. Yes. What? I'm going to have to clean the vacuum. The vacuum? Yeah. <laughs> He's pushing the vacuum. Should mommy move the vacuum? Yeah. 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 He's going nuts with that thing. I kind of don't want to move it because it's just the tent. <laughs> yeah, he's been kind of hard to make content. Hi. Hi. I am just taking the edge off of wood. Just, uh, just kind of opening up, what do you call it, porosity of the wood. So then the stain adheres better because I tried to stain it and it just like didn't take, which I always be, am lazy and I try not to stain. Doing projects with kids is not near as fun. It's still not really soaking into a little lot. This is weathered oak. Weathered oak? Mm -hmm. I don't want it dark by any means. I actually considered pickling the wood and going really light with it, but. I seem irritable, it's because I am. <laughs> wow, look at that. <laughs> um, so what I ended up doing was I took weathered oak and I went over that with a paintbrush. Um, like I painted that on and then I rubbed it into the wood with my rag so then it would like kind of soak in better and then it was still too light so I took a little bit of this espresso and brushed that on and rubbed it right away so it didn't soak into the wood because it was way too dark but it kind of gave it more of a richness without going too warm because I don't want it to look orange. That's my next concern though is I might need to add a little gray into it because I don't want it to look orange but I think it's really pretty. No. This end needs a lot of help so don't <laughs> I kind of like that. Yeah. I like that a lot. I don't think that's too light. And I don't think it looks orange at all. Mm -hmm. I kind of wanted it warmer to tie in with like the warmer woods that we have down here. Mm -hmm. Like that's warm. The coffee table is really warm. But eventually I'm going to stay in that down and refinish it because kids have scratched the crap out of that thing. Oh, yeah. For my kids, I'm using. Nice. Yeah. I think that's really pretty. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to figure out how to stain those brackets. Mm -hmm. I need to seal it, obviously, too. It does look a little orange on the camera. Mm. I can have just a touch of gray into it. Yeah. It's the beauty of stain. I feel like made the wood look a lot more character -y. It brings out the character in the wood, like the end there that's like scuffed up. Like oh, that. that. Yeah, it's super yeah. pretty. It kind of brings all that out. It made it look like I was painting this whole fire. It's a whole fireplace <laughs> with a tiny paintbrush. It's a tiny paintbrush. <laughs>